you can see that my caliper is not actually in a good condition, uh, paint-wise. Wow, it's very rusted. I wonder if anything damaged inside. Okay, so it goes that way, like that. Welcome back to Life As Usual. On today's episode, we are going to be working on the rear parking brakes, okay? We're going to replace the rear parking brakes. We are going to start from this side of the car, which is on the left-hand side of the car, and then we're going to move on the right-hand side of the car. We're going to do other jobs, but we can't fit them all in one uh, video so I think we're gonna divide these videos into multiple videos. Is that right Alex? Yeah, yeah we're yeah. going to divide in multiple videos. We are going to start by uh, Disassembling the rear brakes and putting new brakes on uh, the other jobs What we're planning to do is we're going to uh, bleed the brakes. We are going to that's the rear brakes uh, We're going to bleed the front brake as well. We're going to do some work for the front brakes We're going to do repainting with calipers and stuff, but only specifically for this video What we're going to do is replace the rear parking brakes okay in future videos we are going to do other other jobs like i said okay so first thing we have already jacked up the car so you can see here there's a wheel chock here and there's a wheel chock on the other side and of course we jacked up the car we have uh, other videos on how to jack up the car so this video will not show you how to jack up the car we've already done that three times already isn't it three times is this uh, is good enough so uh, we are going to uh, start by removing the wheel and uh, maybe i don't need to show you that because you already know how to uh, so we're going to remove the wheel and we're gonna start the work okay let's get started so yes we are only replacing the rear parking brakes but i'm going to do other things i'm going to breed bleed the brakes and i'm gonna what's the best way to describe it refurbish them not refurbish them just redo them just make sure it's all good okay so firstly i'm going to compress the uh caliper brake okay uh this here i'm going to compress it so the easiest way to do it is before you disassemble anything if you put a screwdriver right here the very end and pass the the front brake pad and then do it like this and slowly slowly you'll find it that it will compress let's compress to its maximum just slowly slowly be, be careful don't damage anything okay if you want to especially if you want to reuse okay and that way we have compressed this compressed this compressed the caliper so now the caliper is loose to come out can you see how it's loose when it's compressed it's loose yeah? yeah so when it's compressed now it's loose okay it's easier for it to come out okay now uh, usually you do not need to do this for I'm about to do but I want to do it because I'm gonna service this one it, it has been changed last year but the people who changed it I don't trust how they change it or if they did a good job or bad job so I'm going to do it my own way and I'm gonna re uh, lubricate uh, things and just make sure it's all good yeah. so I'm going to just remove both of these bolts okay and to remove them uh, I'm gonna get the socket okay so I'm going to remove uh, these two bolts over here first, okay? They are called the sliding pin. So those ones are called sliding pin. I'm going to start by removing them, okay? Now, I can you can see that my caliper is not actually in a good condition, uh, paint-wise, okay? So it's not painted. But we'll sort out the paint. We're going to do some painting work later on. For now, let's focus on the brakes alone, yeah? Let's crack it open. And the second one is here, okay? They are called sliding pins, these ones. And they are, by the way, the 13 millimeter socket. Okay. So just simply remove them. They look like that. I can see they have not put thread Loctite on the bolts when they installed it. So I don't know what kind of work they did. So I'm just going to redo their work basically. Okay. But before I remove it, what I'm going to do is I need to put it in a place. So the this is the brake line. I don't want it hanging. So what I need to do is I'm just going to tie it somewhere high. Now I'm going to remove the caliper. I put a, a, just a rope here just to keep it uh, in place while it's up. And see, this is what we were compressing. So when we put... Is it uh, this circle? Yeah, uh, this, yeah, yeah. This side here. That's right, uh -huh. yeah. So, some people just put it here and just leave it, but mm -hmm. I'm worried it will fall. So, I'm just going to run this one on the inside and put it this way. Okay. And I don't want to make, I want to make sure this one is not tight, you know, it's mm -hmm. not, because uh, it not will break. Tight. Not Yeah, because I don't want to be, make sure it's not twisted as well. It will damage the, the line. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh. So, I'm just going to, make a knot here like so mm -hmm. and that just keeps it in place yeah. okay just in case if it does fall mm -hmm. okay that's that's okay here 
okay so these are brushes okay they're wire brushes uh, small ones you don't we don't need a big one uh, this is made out of nylon I think and these are my what wire so what I'm going to do is just I'm gonna clean this brake dust from here it just makes it easier for us to work okay again the garage already did this so I shouldn't have a lot to do but I like to uh, go the extra mile I can see they didn't do a good job did they? and next I'm just gonna take the brake pad out and it's not that difficult you just have to remove it that way okay and then the other side with the same thing now the other wheel has a would have a brake line sensor on it it will have a brake line sensor and uh, we need to remove it but I'll show you that uh, how we do that on the next wheel just removing the brake pad here okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it this way so I know which one is right and which one is left so they go that way and I'm going to keep it on the side just away from my work the reason why I removed this is because I want to clean inside these pins, okay? But I will do that when I reassemble everything. I'm going to clean uh, inside these uh, pins, okay? These are called sliding pins. I can see this rubber. Yes, this rubber is ripped and that's very bad, okay? So I'm going to order new ones from uh, online. Could be from Land Rover or something. But for now, uh, I'm just going to carry on with the job and I will sort it out uh, later on, okay? Perhaps when we come to repaint everything here, okay? So, how to remove this bit here? What I need to do is, there is two bolts, again, one bolt here yep. and one bolt here, yes. okay? They're a bit thicker, these ones. They, they are. So these are 18 millimeter socket. They are tough, these ones because they are tighten, uh, I think it's 65. I'll check again. New, yeah, 65 degrees. and then 90 degrees more. So this is the breaker bar for this one, 18. It's going, yep. Yeah. Okay, and now this one. Use the force. Yeah. <laughs> Listening. Yeah, that's what the breaker bar is for. It's very good at doing, well, breaking. What that force basically, ah, to, to break the tension, I yeah. guess. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's called breaker bar, to break it loose. Uh -huh. Okay, so now we're just gonna remove them. These ones, they get torqued as well. Now, I don't think you're supposed to use these multiple times, so be careful, because uh, what happened, I think, when you tighten it 90 more, I think, I'm not too sure, I think what happened is they kind of, they're elastic and I think they expand or contract or something like this to mold themselves inside. So I don't know if you can reuse them or not, but maybe you cannot, I'm not, I'm not too sure. Um, but I will, I'm sure it's, if it's already been used once, maybe you can use it yeah. twice. But we just have to put the lock, lock tight. The lock tight, yeah. yeah. Now. Yeah. So we'll remove this one. Is that rust? Yeah, there's a lot of rust. Mm -hmm. We'll do rust treatment another mm -hmm. time. Yeah. But I have a plan on the rust treatment. Mm -hmm. That one is out, and that's how it looks like. Okay. That's how it looks like. And now we're just taking the second one out. And that's how it looks like. Mm -hmm. Second one. Now, we take this one out. When we take it out, just be careful, it comes all the way out. Can you see these two here? They call, they, I think they're called brake hard wire or accessory, whatever. Mm -hmm. It's just to make the brake easier for it to slide in and out. Okay? With, uh, like silver. Yeah, I'll show you better. Mm -hmm. Here, I'll show you. That's how they look like. They also come out. Uh -huh. I'm going to clean them. That's what I was going to ask if you can yeah, clean them. Yeah, I'm going to clean them. So it's nice. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to uh, put a uh, grease on them as well. They're going to clean here as well. So the contact points here is very important to clean. So here and here. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to put this one back. Yeah, that's how it goes. Uh -huh. So it goes that way. Press, yeah? Yeah. I'll just press on it and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side here and here 
So I bought these from Amazon. They're wire brush wheels. Yeah. Yeah. Just generic. I don't know. It's my first time to use them. Let's see if they're any good. Look what it comes. Oh. Multiple things. It's with multiple formats. Yeah. And they weren't expensive. I forgot how much, but they weren't that expensive. So they're you can even get a small one to uh -huh. get, you know. But let's try let's try this one. Okay. See if that one works. And then you just put it in the even, normal drill. Even a smaller one yeah. here. Yeah, so the way you do it. Like that. Pretend you're drilling. And you do like this. Told you what to chase, told you how to run the race. Every move was on the page, but I didn't like their way. Had to fight and misbehave, had to find a way to change, had to leave to find my way. Caught up in a daydream, I beat my mind up there almost daily. It's how I pass time, no opinions safely. It's how I understand what I want in this place. See, because everybody wanna tell you bad things. What could go wrong? What fame brings, but success is a finicky thing. And if you ain't sure, no, it'll never be. I don't wanna let myself down, myself. Now, uh, usually, usually, you have to rotate the wheel, okay? And if I rotate this, that's why the other wheel also is better for it to be uh, off the ground. Because look, if I rotate this one backwards, look what's happening there. It rotates the other way. Okay? Uh -huh. Okay. So, usually, if this does not rotate, that means uh, the brake inside their binding. And uh, it, I put, by the way, the handbrake is down. Uh, but you remove this inspection. Uh, plastic oops and then from here you can adjust you can go ahead and adjust the brakes uh, so they are tiny but we don't need to do that because you can see it's very loose so I'm going to remove this this is an allen key okay here this is an allen key screw and this is number six okay so I'm just going to remove it now when I remove it if I put pressure it's gonna the wheel will spin so uh, Maybe something we can do is put this one here as a blocker or stop yeah, it or anything. yeah to stop it from rotating Wow someone tighten it Right we can do something else Put this one here and that is tight here now you see yeah, put this one okay. now Here we go, that's gone. Wow, it's very rusted. I wonder if anything damaged inside. Let's take a look. The, yeah, the inspection is the only way, right? To check. Yeah. So, let's see if this one can come out easily. Yeah. Wow, the brakes are stuck. So, if the brake is stuck, we may have to twist it a few times before we take it out. What we need to do is turn the other wheel okay. and then we'll turn this one. Okay. Hey. Rust. More rust. <laughs> That's more rust. So I'm just inspecting this. This one looks okay, not like the other one. But it's not good to replace uh, one side and not the other side. You, if you're replacing one, you should replace both. So I can see here it looks like an Allen key. You can see it? Yes. Let's see what size it is. Let's try. Actually, should we try six again? Mm -hmm. No, it's not. It's less. less. So five. let's try five, you think? Potentially. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Oh, wow. So we only need to have a turn and it will pop out. Yeah. Okay? That's how it looks like. Uh -huh. Because they're rusty, I'm considering to reuse them. Because they're rusty, I have an idea. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this uh, chemical here. It's for grease and oil. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put it in the top. It's very strong, you know. It removes glue. I used it for the glue. But I think it can work for our uh, application here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this one here and I'm gonna get these parts mm -hmm. 
put it inside. And then maybe I'll put WD-40. Now there's another one here. Do you want to take a look? Come on, take a look. There's another one here. Here, can you see it? Yes, I can see it. Yeah. yeah, so let's remove this one as well. Yeah? Nice, yeah? Rusty. So I'll put it here as well. And next, what I'm going to do, I need to remove, there's a spring yeah. here underneath. Oh, yeah. I need to remove that spring. Okay, before before we remove this spring, let's let's loosen the tensioner here. That will give us more to work with, okay? Okay. So I'm going to loosen this tensioner. Going that way. So rather than expanding, it's contracting. You ready? Mm -hmm. No. Uh, maybe if I put the spring. Maybe tension. No. Aha! Uh -huh. That's it. Yeah. That's it. So all you have to do is hold the brake. Yeah, and, and hold it and pull oh. this one. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So that came out, and then we need to take the other side. Uh, the other side should come out easily. Oh, so okay. The smaller coil. one, yeah. So the small coil goes on top, and the large one goes on the bottom. The bottom okay. So let's put it on the uh, in the yeah top in the top yeah on a bucket a jar. <laughs> it's a measuring jar. Yeah. And then we disconnect this. Yeah. Like so. And that's that's the brakes, that's the old brakes. Okay, so let's let's remove the rest of stuff. So I'm gonna do the same thing with this spring. Actually there's no need to do this. That's it. Just spread it apart. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna keep it there as well. Keep it yeah, here. Okay. Yeah. Next left is this one. So it just comes out. Basically there's a cable here that goes like inside. I yeah. all I did is do this. Yeah. And comes out this way. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's nice uh to also to put this one inside and now we are just going to tidy things up here i'm going to do a clean up so i'm going to clean all of this make sure you clean this hole here because that's where the the pen goes and it will be the same thing on the other side yeah i ain't gonna give up got too little time i'ma live up head down push forward through the tough times because anything we're doing is a tough climb Solution, yeah. So I'm gonna have it like two stages, two dirty here. Yeah. And then when it gets a little bit cleaner, I'll move it to there. Yes. You can see the yeah. color is changing. It's actually restoring the color. Yeah. So while we're working on cleaning and stuff, yeah. it's it's doing its job in the background. Yeah. Oh, look how clean now this one is. It needs more shaking, you know, like the yeah. sitting, just sitting in there. I'll tell you what. Oh, oh well, yeah. Oh. Now that is a good idea. I can see the phone. Yeah. So, let's keep it here. And from time to time, we'll shake it. So, we've cleaned the wheel hub. Can you see how shiny it is from the middle? The middle yeah. yeah. So, clean the wheel hub and uh, all cleaned all the dust and uh, brake dust and stuff and made it all shiny. Yeah. Just wanted to, before we put the new ones and assemble, I just wanted to show you how it would look like. So, this is the older one. So, the one with a notch and a curve on the top. Mm -hmm. And the one with the flat surface here and a big notch here, okay, that's on the bottom. Okay, so it goes that way, like that. Okay, just make sure this bit here is clean, okay. this hole is clean, and this bit here is clean. And it's the same thing goes on the other side. This, this is clean, the hole, and this, okay? Yeah. The reason why I say that, because they, that's where they sit, mm -hmm. okay? And the hole align with these ones where it gets locked. Okay, I don't need this one now. Well, I do actually. I do, I do, I do. So I'll put it here to get it washed. Oh, look how clean now this one is. Much better. Like that. Okay. Yeah. Like anything else? Yep. Uh huh. That's this one. Yeah. Another one. Now let's shake this one a little bit. After the second stage, so this first stage is going to be super dirty and then it's a bit cleaner. And then the last one, I need to restore some lubrication to it. So I'm going to put WD-40 here. 
put it here okay and i'm gonna add wd-40 on top of it okay that would restore some lubrication to it because at the end of the day i do want it lubricated a little bit so let's ass assemble this one first there's a cable here oh, can yeah. you see it yeah so we if we hold this one from the inside like this mm -hmm. and we get the cable in like so and we put this one in like that okay that's the assembly completed wow that was quick yeah yeah so oh, so we'll leave it for now let's continue the other things okay yeah. let's start here let's let's do this one yeah? yeah yeah so let's take the other item out and put it in the wd-40 okay oh. so i'm just going to take a little bit of copper grease just a little bit of copper grease and put it on this screw because this screw is going to go in and out i'm going to put it inside here just so it doesn't seize just in case okay and then I'm going to put a little bit here at the end as well, like that, so, and on here as well. And then this one goes in, like so. Put this one here, like so. Can you see it? Yeah. And one here. And then I'm going to take this spring. I'm going to put it one here. So remember, we're working at the bottom. This is for the bottom, yeah? I'm just going to get the pick. And I'm going to, it's going to be hard, so I'm going to put my, my hand here. So I'm going to stretch it. This one inside like so. So now I need to be careful not to twist it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now I can, I can open it. Yes. Not much. Next, I have to align it with this one. Okay. Yeah. So if I align the top here, and then there's two grooves here, one groove here, mm -hmm. and one groove right here. So that aligned it with the grooves on the top. You see that? Yeah. Next, let's put the pins so it makes our job easier before we put the spring on top. Okay. So um, I put it here again in WD-40. The pins with the springs okay let's take them out and dry them okay quickest way ever yeah work smart yeah. not harder yes so we're gonna put it that way can you see how here it looks like a uh, like a cross looks okay. like a cross yeah? yeah so we put it in that way yeah. and then we twist it so it doesn't come out okay okay so basically we, we first we put it in this way and then we turn it Okay, and we push it inside. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we turn it that way, okay. and that is it. That's stuck in now. Right, okay. Okay, so let's do the same thing on this side. Okay, put it in this way, and then we turn. Okay, so we've turned it 90 degrees. So that's, we just confirm. Yeah. Turn it in 90 degrees so it doesn't come out. So that's but now both in, yeah. and this is in, okay? Okay, so now I'm gonna have to put this spring back, okay? Of course, I put the WD 40s just like the other one, but this is the toughest spring, and this is the last thing we have to do about the shoe brake, okay? So I'm gonna put one edge of it here, and the other edge it needs to go there. Now, good luck with that. And we all got dreams, we all want things. What you gon' do for it? How you gon' move for it? What you gon' be? And do you believe you can do anything? But what you gon' do for it? How you gon' move for it? What you gon' be? That's N. That was the most difficult uh, bit. Of this job yeah. definitely that's that's most difficult thing isn't it, yeah, it was. okay so now we have shoe brakes we have a new shoe brake so this is the adjuster at the bottom and we're gonna have to adjust it once we put the desk okay so up is loose that, that way and down would be tight in it okay so uh, we need to put the desk back 
But before I put the desk, there are a few things that we have to do first. Because we are not going to put a new desk, this desk been replaced uh, end of last year. We are just gonna have to clean the rust. So we're gonna have to clean the rust for the new uh, brake shoes. So we have cleaned the desk. You can see it's nice and clean. Uh, remember, there are two holes here. There's odd holes, okay? Remember, forget about these ones, the where you, the wheel goes. It's this one mm -hmm. and this one. I want to say something. What? That one that you're pointing at needs to be at the bottom. Yes, correct. correct. Yeah. And that one, where does it need to go? Uh, to the left. Which is? No, here. Where oh. does it go? Oh, uh, that side. This. Oh, here, oh, yeah, no. that one here. I see. Okay. Yeah. So it goes there. But before we do so, so it goes like this, yeah. Yeah. Before we do so, let's do something to make sure we're not gonna have issues removing this again mm -hmm. and reduce rust. Okay. Yeah. What we're going to do is get copper grease. Mm -hmm. The copper grease it keeps it. Um, how can I say? Like protects it from yeah, lubricated. Oh. So protects it from rust. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Because it keeps moisture out. So I'm going to put it here a little bit. It's not a lot, okay? Some people use their hands. Uh, some people use different things. I'm using brush. Just makes it easier for me to paint it on. Mm -hmm. Like paint. Think of it as paint. Like thick paint. Like a thick layer. Or like thick like thick layer. layer. Yeah, thick layer of paint. Yeah. yeah. It's like painting. Okay? So the moisture doesn't go in. If moisture doesn't go in, so it's not going to get rusty. So now we're going to put it back. The brake shoes may be in the way. They are rubbing in the back, isn't it? Let's take a look. Yeah, they are rubbing. Uh-huh. Got no. uh, in. Yeah. And here we go. It's very nice. This copper grease gives it a very nice look. Yeah. A bit shiny too. <laughs> now we need to put this screw back. Yeah. Okay. And then tighten it torque it. I will tell you what the torque is for now. So now we are going to tighten it into 16 Newton meter, which is not a lot by the way. That's it. Now do you remember I cannot film this, but do you remember there was a, uh like a, a knot that I said do you need tightening and untightening? Yeah. Okay, so it's it's located here. We're gonna have to locate it. Yeah. Don't know if camera can oh, pick it up. The flash is yes, like inside. perfect. That's the that one, yeah. wheel, yeah. we need to either lift up or down. down. Now, if I lift up, what will happen? That will shrink. That will shrink, like get the oh, brakes closer yes. to each other. Yeah, okay, so that right. means it's very loose. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. But what I need to do is make it tight. That's number one. I need to make it tight where it does not move. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I need to keep on turning. I'm pushing downwards like uh -huh. this, yeah? yeah? I'm doing this. And that, what is that doing? It's pushing the brakes further apart mm -hmm. to hold the desk. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, this one doesn't move. Let me see. Yeah. It, it was moving before, now it's struggling to move. Yeah. Okay? Now that it's struggling to move, I just want to make sure it's completely done properly. See? Now, it's locked. Now I cannot move it. Yeah. Now that you can't move it, we now will release it a little bit. So we go up now. Okay. okay. Once. Well, uh, let's see once. Okay. Let's see once or twice. Mm -hmm. Now you can move. Yeah. Perfect. I think it can do a little bit more. Okay. The other tire is moving. By the yeah, way. that's fine. Let's try now again. Yeah, mm -hmm. perfect. So that's good enough. Yeah. Okay, so this one is sorted. Now, we need to put this one back. And to put it back, we need to put the two uh, bolts back, okay? Mm -hmm. So it goes back this way. Uh 
like so. So I'm going to put a little bit of um, lock thread on it here. A little bit, not so much. Okay. And then I'm going to put it in from the back exactly where we took it out. This is the big nut, guess the big uh, bolt, sorry. Yeah. Like so. Okay. And we'll do the same thing for the next one. Okay. Just a little bit, not so much. Put it here. Okay, so now we are going to tighten these ones into 65 then 90 degrees. What does that mean? I'll show you. So, 65 Newton. Meters. Meters, yeah. This is the 16 mil bolt, remember? 16, yeah? Yeah, 16. Okay. Is that right? Yeah. You make me doubt myself. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so. So that's tight. That's 65, yeah? Okay, so that's 65 again. So we're going to tighten the 65. Okay, 65. Yeah. yeah. So let's do 90. Ready? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, I can see. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's 90 only for new bolts. So that's done. Now the brakes. Now we need to do the brakes, okay? These are the brake pads. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is the one that has been replaced last year. Yeah. Not by me, by the garage. I'm going to put some copper grease here on the sides. To make it to make it slide easier or I can put it here I'll show you how exactly where it's touching it's gonna go so at this point and at that point mm -hmm. okay so again just a little bit doesn't have to be a lot here and here like that and here That will make it easier for it to slide in and out. And then I'm going to put this one in like so. One here and one on the other side. I may need to pry it in. Let's see. Like so. Okay. As simple as that. And let's do the same thing on the other side. Okay. Here. A little bit here. And a little bit here. Now, can you see here the marks? Some people like to put here as well. Mm -hmm. I will put here because that's where it's, it's touching the caliper. Mm -hmm. You see, it made a mark, so that means it's rubbing there. Yeah. But I think these chims here, the blue chims, are to, uh, to stop the rattling. Or the squeaking. And now I'm gonna put it in. Okay. Okay. Like that. Now we're gonna get the caliper. Okay. And we are going to fit it. Make sure the cables are not twisted, yeah? So exactly how it was. So this was like that. Okay. And we're gonna put it in. Yeah. Okay. So next would be put in uh, the 13 milli. Uh, milli meter yeah. screws here bolts sorry and i'm gonna do the same thing here lock thread lock thread mm -hmm. a little bit. yeah does it need a lot like everywhere no just... just a little bit mm -hmm. that's enough yeah put one here and then put more on the other one because once it goes in it will be like it goes everywhere you know yeah So next, I'm going to torque these uh, bolts into 35 millimeter, yeah? Like so. See? And then this one as well. Okay. Uh, do one more thing. I'm going to uh, put copper grease on this wheel. And tomorrow, we're going to start the next wheel. 